It's time to finally sharpen your masking pen because without possessing the skills to use this, you will fall behind. But don't worry, with the exercises in this video, you will go from noob to an absolute pro. We're gonna start with something easy so that if you're new to masking, you can follow along perfectly. Number one, hiding behind a thin pole. Here you can see me walking behind a pole, acting like you can't see me. Obviously you can, but with this trick, you're gonna learn how to make yourself disappear. First, set up your camera on a tripod to get a steady shot. Then walk into the frame and act like you're hiding behind the pole. Next one is very important. Walk out of the frame and let the camera roll for a while to get a nice empty shot. All right, once you have your shots, throw them into the timeline of Premiere. Now, drag the empty shot on top of the other one. Make sure the empty shot in the timeline is selected. Then head over to the effect controls and find the opacity properties. In here, you can find the pen tool. Once you click it, Premiere will create a mask on your video. Now, go to the program monitor and here you can draw in points. Simply click to create one. Then follow the shape of the pole and go all the way around the part of the empty shot. Now go back to the timeline and if you disable the bottom clip, you'll only see the masked part of the empty shot. And that's actually it. Now you have this funny effect like you're hiding behind a tiny pole. Let's level up a notch to number two, color grading specific parts of your video. Let's say I wanna change the color of the sea, maybe make it a little greener. We can do that by using Lemetri in combination with a mask. Let me show you why. Go to the window menu on top and find Lemetri color in the panel list. Once it's open, expand the HSL secondary tab. Now here here you can see the key settings. First, we're gonna select the color that we want to change. To do that, click the color picker and head over to the program monitor. Click somewhere in the C to select its color. Now you can tweak your color selection by changing the HSL faders. But there's only one problem. The colors of the sea and the sky are very similar, which makes it hard for Premiere to separate them. So for now, just ignore the sky and make sure the entire C is selected. Next, scroll down a little bit. And with this slider, you can add a little blur to smoothen out the selection. Then head over to the correction tab. By using the color wheel you can make it look a little greener by mixing a bit of yellow in it. You can even bring down the exposure to make the sea look deeper. This looks great but the HSL correction also adjusted the sky which we don't want. And to fix that we're gonna use a mask again. This time go to the effect controls and find the Lemetri color we just created. As you can see you can also create masks on effects not just on clips. First grab the playhead and make sure it's on the first frame of the clip. Then click the pen tool and go to the program monitor. Draw a mask around the horizon of your clip and make sure the entire sea is selected. Now it looks like everything is fine, but because this shot is moving, we need to animate the mask. To do that, click the stopwatch icon next to mask path. Make sure to select the mask again and go back to the program monitor. Use your scroll wheel to move further in time and then adjust the mask to the frame and keep doing that until you're at the end of the clip. And now Premiere has created a bunch of keyframes for you so that the mask will follow the horizon. To make the mask look even smoother, increase the feather a little bit. And there you go, you just created a professional color grade by using a mask. Now you're probably wondering where I find these beautiful shots because I really don't have the time to shoot them all myself. Luckily, I have Storyblocks, the sponsor of today's video. By installing the beautiful plugin, you can access literally anything you need from within Premiere. Seriously, there's no need to leave Premiere anymore. Storyblocks' curated stock library has everything you need to create high quality video, all in one place. With over a million 4K and HD footage, templates, music, sound effects, images, and so much more for one predictable subscription cost. So you never have to pay an expensive price per clip ever again. So, don't have time to create your logo and text animations yourself? Don't worry, in just a few clicks you can use thousands of professional templates for Premiere, After Effects and DaVinci Resolve. This will speed up your creative workflow a lot. Create better videos with customizable DaVinci Resolve templates. From motion graphics to animated sequences, they are essential to creating professional looking videos at scale. Oh, and everything you download from Storyblocks is 100% royalty free. No worries about copyright or anything like that. To get started with unlimited stock media downloads at one set price, go to starblocks.com forward slash Premiere Basics or just click the link down below. And now it's time for masking effect number three, revealing text with objects. Let's say you have this clip of cars driving on the road. Now I want this gray car to reveal the text PRB, which is short for Premiere Basics of course. First of all, go to the toolbar and click the text tool. Then head over to the project window and click somewhere to start typing. There you go. Now it's time to match the text perspective with the street. To do that, find the corner pin effect in the effects browser and then drag it on the graphic layer. Head over to the effect controls and make sure the corner pin effect is selected. Now, Go to the program monitor and in the corners you can see these points from the corner pin. If you click and drag them, you can change the perspective of the text. Now simply match it with the street and there you go. Next we're gonna make the text look like it's really on the street. To do that, find the opacity properties again and find the blend mode list. Look for the blend mode overlay. 
this one will make the texture of the street come true. That looks awesome, but now it's time to make it reveal. In the timeline, hold down Alt and drag the clip of the cars on top of the text layer. This will duplicate it. Grab the playhead and go to the moment where you want the text to be revealed. Once you're there, make sure the top clip is selected and go to the effect controls. Then in opacity, click the pen tool again to create a mask. Go to the program monitor and start drawing a mask around the back of the car. Once that's done, go back to the effect controls and click the mask pad stopwatch icon to animate the mask. Make sure the text is selected and go back to the program monitor. Again, use your scroll wheel to move further in time and adjust the mask around the car. Do this until the text is completely visible. And there you go, that looks amazing. Number 4. Mask Tracking Imagine you have this person in your video, but for some reason you guys are not friends anymore. You want to blur out his face. To do that, find the Gaussian blur effect in the effects browser and drag it on your clip. That video selected, go to the effect controls. Find the Gaussian blur effect, but don't increase the blurriness yet, otherwise we can't find the face anymore. Click the mask tool and go to the program monitor. Drag a mask around the person's face you want to blur out, and then go back to the mask path property. We're gonna use these controls to track the person's face, so we can apply the Gaussian blur effect on the face only. Now to do that, click on the wrench tool. Make sure preview is enabled so that we can spot tracking mistakes. Now this is where the magic happens. Click the play icon and watch Premiere track the person's face perfectly. When it's done, you can see that Premiere created a lot of mask pad keyframes automatically. Now you can increase the blurriness to your liking. Of course, increase the mask feather to make it look more smooth. Effect number 5 is the door transition. This one is quite advanced, but it's so awesome and you can learn everything about it in the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching and as always, stay creative.